How'd you get your golf cart to stay at South the State Inspection? Well, that's coming out for this year. It's all fresh air on this area. For this state wall. Golf carts have to be, had to have all type of operating light, ignition as well. Headlight, tail light, turn signal, brake light. Turn your lights on. Get the tail lights on operational working. The headlight have to be on. Check the turn signal. Get the indicator on, on the dash. Both on the front here. If your golf cart is quit with a four way flasher, turn that on. Then get an all state check on it. Of course, your brake light has to work too. Your golf cart never had a brake light. Get an idea. This button right here is to go brake light, so you push on that and it turns your brake lights on. Horn is required. Windshield may be required, but does not have to be operational. Seat belt is a thing. I would need a seat belt on a golf cart, but I said I had to have one, but it does not. But in say in the note, that didn't say us that we had to wear them. And these mark life up here, they have work. They are LED. I've got one on the back too. And of course, beacon light. Rotator, flashing, or strobe light. There you go. Now, this, since this is being is gas, I don't have to worry about the emission because it's got overhead. But this is a overhead. But they do inspect on electric on the case of battery leakage. That's one thing I don't like about electric. If you get a bad battery and over the winter time they'll keep them charged up, they can crack and leak out acid. And of course, I got to mention mirrors. I use this mirror a lot, then I use those side. If I'm using the side right there and I can see out more from this part right here. And uh, well, once I get this thing passed, it'll be tagged and ready to go. See ya.